Hi, my name is Jake Hoffman, and I'm a computational social scientist at Microsoft Research. And today I'm going to tell you about viral search. Viral search is a new means of navigating, searching, and exploring content that spreads over social media. We've gone through hundreds of thousands of stories that are recently posted on Twitter, looked at billions of mentions of these stories, and reconstructed trees of how these things pass from one individual to the next. So here's an example of a story by Forbes, uh, which is about Jeremy Lin. And what we can see here is that the story initially started with Forbes that has about a million followers. And then direct people who were following Forbes reposted that story. And most of those posts didn't go any further. Here's an example that went one generation further. And then most of the adoptions have stopped by then, and we've got a total of about 150 people posting this story. So this is sort of traditional broadcast style media where we have a big outlet posting to people do, who directly consume it, and then it doesn't really go much further. In contrast to that, here's an example of sort of a viral video, a cover of a Gautier song. And so this is what people sort of typically have in their mind when they think about one of these viral videos, but nobody's really been able to actually look at the structure of these things to date. And so what we're able to do is, going through these billions of events, we reconstruct these trees by looking at all the followers of everyone who adopts the content and using a large cluster to reconstruct these things and then a novel scoring method to actually distinguish this tree as being viral from just being popular. We can also look at all the independent trees in this story that were started by different people. So here's the version of the story we just looked at, which is started by the people who made the video that got 4,600 adoptions, but there were many other introductions of this piece of content independent from this story. And so we can see some of these get thousands of adoptions, and some get hundreds, and some get only dozens. We can also use viral search to look at contributions from particular individuals. So here's posts from Tim O'Reilly over the past year of popular news, video, and images. We can see he's quite prolific. And so the larger circles here represent more popular stories. The shading represents the number of generations these stories have gone through. So here's an example of a story that he was involved in relatively early on, as indicated by the concentric circle, that this went on for many generations, and it became quite popular. We have another example of a less popular story. This reached about 500 people, and as indicated by the circle here, he was relatively late in posting this story. So that's viral search, which is a tool that lets you search and navigate uh, cascades of people passing content on social media and distinguish between things that have not just become popular but have also become viral in the sense that they've been passed on from one person to the next over many generations. Thanks.